Namaste, welcome. Om. What is it that you associate with? What are you associating with right now? What were you associating with in that silent spell? Where was your mind? Was it active? Was it thinking? What were you associating with? Was it something in the room? Was it your laptop? Was it your sound? Was your mind elsewhere? Or was it on a question about what you're going to get from the title of this? Or were you just simply in the moment waiting? What is it associating with right now? Are you angry with the speaker? Are you a, are you one with the speaker? Are you aware of time and how long it's going to take and what you're going to do next? Are you aware of someone in another room? Were you associating or thinking about the silence? What is going through your head now? Are you bored? Is your mind questioning? Is your mind getting a bit shifty? A bit unstable? Are you uncomfortable? Are you thinking about food? Taking up? I wish I took a cup of tea now, it's going to be ages. What are you associating with? What does this mean? To associate means to have attention on something that you know. Now something that you know is something that is stored within you. You know your wife's name your husband's name. You know you are a particular sex. You know that the kettle makes boiling water and therefore tea can be made. Giving attention on something that you know is associating with. Even if you're trying to gain something from this video, whatever you're going to gain, you're hoping that it's something that you already know.
that you can associate with. So if you see something, you have an expectation of what it's going to be before it happens. And it's going to make sense because it's in your vocabulary of associating words. What if something came up in this silence that is absolutely brand new, never experienced before, never even held about in a book or by another human, never ever experienced before by any plant, nature, human being and it's going to happen to you now. Can you associate with it? You see, you cannot associate with that because it's new. It happens and you don't know what it is and you can't explain it to another because they cannot associate with it through their language, their understanding, and their educational knowing, reconditioned worlds, planning from this human world. So unless they experience it, they cannot associate with it. Even your brand new Wow, experience. Wow does not mean pleasurable, it can be painful. I had this experience. I don't know what it is. I can't associate with it. Let me tell you, can you help me? No, I never had that before. But, but you can't explain it because you can't find words, because it's new. I saw this. I didn't even see it. I heard, I heard. No, no I, I, it came from a different sense. I, I can't associate. I must be mad. No one else can understand. But it was so beautiful. How can I share this? Everything that you experience new, you want to share. Because you don't trust in yourself. If God came out in front of you right now, whatever this God is, and said, I've got something to show you. I've got something to show you that you will never be able to experience, to explain to another. And you will be alone with this euphoric experience. And you will never be able to explain it to another. Because even if I show another, they will never have the same experience as you. So, is it a deal? Do you want me, God, to give you something? That you've been looking for with the inability to share? Can you cope with that? What are you going to say? No. You see, it's not about me. No point in giving it to me if I can't share it with this world. God says, you, I've chosen you. I chose Christ. I chose Shiva. I chose Ramana Maharshi. I chose all these disciples. 
and look at how happy they were with freedom. The simplistic way they took life. And you want to share it? They couldn't share it. They understood the deal. I'll show you and you can try as hard as you can, but you will not be able to share it. Do you want that burden? Is it a burden? Because you've missed the point. You met God. Isn't this enough? Isn't this enough for you to realize that your whole life purpose And you have experienced it whilst in a body, not waited till the body passes. Ego wants to share it. If you want to share it, you'll never see God. If you want it for yourself, for your greedy self, great. That's what God wants. He wants a greedy one. Show me what I am I meant to see and I will worship you for the rest of my life. I won't make any money of it. I won't make any deal of it. I won't. Be able to fit in to the world again. But I will be always in love. That's what happens when you meet God? You can't share his love directly to anyone else. But you live the rest of your life in love. With everything. Everything, including yourself. Can you associate with that? No, because you have not experienced it. And the only way you will experience something like that is by rejecting all the things that you're expecting to get, to expecting to taste, see, feel, hear. So these teachings that I am about to offer is to take you in a step-by-step -step manner to begin to stop associating so that you can empty your mind, your body, your world, clean out your house for this one to visit. Non-associating inquiry. Can you remove everything? that you've learned, including your name, everything, your sex, your beliefs, your hopes, your past, your future? Can you live in the present moment in a non-associating world long enough for the door to open? And then in your bliss, in your love, in your tranquil emptiness. Fight off the need to try and explain the impossible. 
We'll see you next time if you're up. If you're up for it. If not, I'll be here. Namaste.